、えっと、最初にお断りしておきます。日本語のーホームページで出ていた情報を英語圏の皆様に発信しているので、えー、こちらの動画は翻訳をつけておりません。えー、日本人の方はあ、日本語のホームページを見て、えー、各自でご判断なさってください。よろしくお願いします。Hello, this is Tondo Train. Yeah, how are you today? Okay, sorry, this is not a d v e n t u r e video again. This is an update from Japanese、uh, website about Pikachu outbreak in Yokohama for this year. I tweeted about this. So, you may already know about this, and it's all in Japanese, so I want to explain what has happened.、Uh, first of all, I'm sad. I am sad. <laughs>、uh, Japanese, kanashi. Kanashi. I'm sad. Okay, let's look at this.、Uh, this is the,、uh, one of the newspapers' websites saying that. Talking about the Pikachu outbreak. April 18th, the mayor of Yokohama City just announced about Pikachu outbreak is going to be happening for this year. So they are expecting、uh, visitors from outside of Yokohama City as well as you know, outside of Japan to have more visitors in this time.、And、during the time, it will be、uh, 10th of August. This one. 10th of August to 16th of August. About 1500 Pikachu, s like Pikachu, not Pokemon Go Pikachu, just Pikachu outfit thing is, you know, like a parade kind of thing, walking around the town. And the,、uh, yeah, you can take a photo with Pikachu, s and that's why it's called a Pikachu outbreak. So it's going to be happening. Pikachu outbreak is happening. And at night time, they are going to have a light up or pro projection mapping. From 2014, Pikachu outbreak is being held three years now. And last year was the first time to featuring with Pokemon Go. And this is the main thing. Mayor of Yokohama City, called Hayashi, said that no Pokemon Go event will be featured. This year. This is the most sad news I've ever heard for this year. I mean, I was like expecting to go back to Japan to you know, show other YouTubers around you know, Pokemon Center or you know, guide them around how Japan is good and things like that. I was so excited till I read this. Oh my god. <laughs> so, for those who d o e s n t know about Pikachu outbreak, I'm going to read about this one. Yes, this one is the official website of last year that Pokemon Go Park events at Pikachu outbreak. Yes, so read it through. The trainers, this is the last year's article, okay? The Pokemon company is hosting Pikachu outbreak from Wednesday, August 9th. 9th through Tuesday, August 15th. This is last year's information. For the entire duration, trainers will be able to visit two Pokemon Go Park events in the Minato Mirai. This is a place called Minato Mirai area of Yokohama, Japan. And during Pikachu outbreak, trainers will be able to explore two special Kanto and Johto themed parks. Well, yeah.、Um, At Red Brick Park, trainers will more frequently encounter Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region in the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue video games. Yes. Meanwhile, trainers in Cup Noodle Museum Park will be more likely to find Pokemon originally discovered in the Johto region in the Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold video games. Yes, trainers will also have a unique opportunity to encounter some Pokemon. Rarely encountered in Japan, including Mr. Mime. Yes, it is like your、uh, regional exclusive at both Pokemon Go Park events. Additionally, spinning the photo disc at the Pokestop find, found at each of those parks made our train a special 2K egg with the potential to hatch greater variety of Pokemon than usual. So, this is like a First time to have a shiny Pikachu event in the Yokohama. So, this was what I was expecting for this year as well. 
so like Pikachu outbreak, Pikachu outfit, and Pikachu parade, and Pokemon Go. You can play Pokemon Go in the two different uh, area to you know get the rare Pokemons. And I was in here, Netherlands already, so I I didn't join this event, but. Actually, August 14th was the day that first time to Mewtwo was came out on uh, Pokemon Stadium, I think, and only few YouTubers are invited to you know have a first bottle in the world with Mewtwo. Yes, it was like 99 uh, premium ball to catch the Mewtwo in certain area you have to have a QR code and things like that and some if you want the prize you can attend that event as well so some of you may already caught it on this day so it was first time to have a Mewtwo in the whole world for the Pokemon Go so Yokohama must be should be like you know the first place taking first place of Pokemon Go so I was expecting something new as well not only Pikachu outbreak, but the uh, just like after the Mew, maybe Celebi or some thoughts. I don't know. Well, if even if it was not, I was so excited to be there. So yeah, sad, just sad. It is totally sad. And this is the uh, some other website report of last year yes this shows like uh, yes over 150 uh, 1500 Pikachu were parading and things like that Pokemon Go Pokemon Go Stadium so it was looks like it looked like this this picture and me too came out for the first time in the whole world I think you've already seen the trainer tip sneak or mystic 7 called Mewtwo and yeah it was exciting and Mr. Mime was found at the first time in Japan yes and the shiny Pikachu was here good yes it says uh, yes August 14th about 6 o'clock uh, p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. Pokemon Go Stadium had the Mewtwo first EX raid boss and yeah it was came out for the first time in the world and it was a time of Rugia and things like that then uh, yes the trouble like Chicago event like no one could you know even log into the game was not really happened on that day but the uh, a bunch of trainers came to Pokemon Go Park and they had a traffic problems for those few days every day they have to have like some kind of trouble for the traffic and overcrowding so many people came and things like that so um, yeah they decided to have not to feature with Pokemon Go which means just the Pikachu outbreak Pikachu parade and Pikachu dancing things and stage many Pikachus on the stage and things like that so well it's not officially announced from Pokemon Go Niantic but as mayor of Yokohama City already said on the interview for the newspaper in Japan and officially announced herself that she's not going to have a Pokemon Go event with Pikachu Outbreak in Yokohama. I mean, Pikachu Outbreak, the event of Pikachu Outbreak break will be there, like every year, like four years, fourth year this year? No, fifth year. It's gonna be fifth year for this year, but the this year only Pikachu Outbreak. So I'm expecting that other city in Japan or any other country would have this kind of event like Pokemon Go summer event or Pokemon Go I don't know you name it I don't know <laughs> but yeah it's sad it is really sad so this is sad that's all I can say it's sad so yeah including Japanese youtubers as well as uh, America or any other youtubers didn't mention anything about that because it's a newspaper's website so I just wanted to make a video 
before I go to bed. So I'm still editing, sorry, I'm still editing about the Marip Community Day event. I had a special guest from New York City and yeah, it's not came, uh, it has not came out on uh, YouTube yet, but I'm editing, I'm editing, sorry, sorry for taking a long time, but this is the newest news, so yeah, that's all for today, so. But anyway, I'll be in Japan, so if you have a chance to meet me in Japan, like please follow my Twitter channel, uh, Twitter or Twitter, so you will be able to know where I will be for that day and things like that. So, yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you. Bye.